I'm confident that carburetor is clean. So now I'm going to uh, bring it over to here for the second round. We're just going to look at the choke assembly. And we have to actually tear down a fair bit of stuff, which is the one thing I don't like about these. The ones with the primer button are a little easier to work. Can you guys see me over here? Two screws on the top. Then we'll do three screws on the tank. Tilt the tank forward and take the shroud. Have a look at the shroud. Okay. Five six sheets for the gas tank. It'll be three screws. Wanna see? Okay, this, this ring connects to the gas tank, and there's one, two, three, five sixteenths nuts. They're gonna come out. Now these are not too tight. These just pop off just like they should from the factory, right? Now what I do with these is I get a magnet. And I just pick all three of them up at the same time. Cool. Huh? Now this gas tank's gonna just rotate backwards. Yeah, Whitney. And now the the shroud and the rewind, there's four three eighths. Take that off. Somebody got that carburetor off. So this is the only disadvantage to this style of machine is that the, uh, the choke is under the engine shroud. Eh? And you'll see that in one minute. And there's one thing left a lot of guys forget about, but everybody ends up doing it. <laughs> the dipstick has a 5 sixteenths to hold it down. Ooh, that was on there pretty good. And we'll just leave that like that. Now this just pulls up. Oh. push this back like that. I, I'm always back ready for the install coming back. Okay, here we go. Oh. There's something missing. <laughs> okay, problem solved guys. Maybe. Maybe I did this when I disconnected the choke. But the choke is supposed to be uh, on the other side. You see it was sitting there. The choke is supposed to be over here. But it should have fired up when I had that uh, screwdriver stuck in there. When I opened the choke. So, all we can do is one step at a time. Sorry about that. So now, I all, when I have these apart, I always this is the, this hole right here, goes through, and it, this is the intake manifold. I always do a tighten on it. A lot of vibration there. So let's put the carburetor back on. Let's bring you over to the bench a little bit closer. Just a little bit closer. Carburetor. Oh, how are we going to do this? I guess we'll put the gas line on last. Okay, that's the Z-bend of the throttle. And the bolts to attach said carburetor. Okay, 
We're almost there. Oops. <laughs> now we'll check the stability of this carburetor right off the bat here. Make sure there's no air leaks. Okay, that's good. So now we're going to mount the choke the way it's supposed to be. And it's, it's activating now. Now, before, remember that, when I was doing the, uh, with, with the screwdriver, you guys with me? Yep, yeah. I was po poking this in. I didn't feel that resistance there. And these always wear a little bit. I'm gonna just adjust, oh, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Okay, there is. Now that, the heat on the muffler, Warms up, there's a bimetal strip and this thing goes like that as the engine warms up. And as the engine warms up, it opens the choke. I'll back up. See, as the engine warms up, it opens the choke. There, see that? That feels good. It didn't feel like that before. And then in this whole assembly is also the wire that turns everything on and off from the coil right there with the, when you squeeze the bail. See that? So, that takes the ground off the coil and it also takes the brake off the flywheel. So brake on, no, no spark, brake off, spark. So now I need to get one of these uh, gaskets have a look at the spark plug while we're doing this. I think it's probably going to be just fine. It's just a little off of alignment and it's wet. Check it for gap, 30 thousandths. I don't think that's changed. <laughs> Beautiful, nice plug. But it's wet. But it looks like a brand new plug. I think the owner tried, I think he did say he tried the air filter on the plug. And you guys probably noticed me using my Sears ratchets all the time. I like the Sears ratchets because all you got to do is do that and do that for on and off. Okay, where are we? Uh, I think we're on the... Ah, that feels good. I think we're going to bolt down the, the rewind. Hold that through there. I think the choke came off. But it should have stayed running when I jammed a screwdriver in there. But you don't know who's been working on it. Okay, now 
5 sixteenths for the dipstick tube. I don't have much of a tune up on this. All I gotta do is change the oil and uh, check the blade. Now, before we go any further, we'll rotate this gas tank forward a little bit. Oh, there we go. Stick the gas line on. And it's still a pretty new machine, so everything's in good shape. Now, we'll attach the fuel hose clamp. Perfect. Now we'll just reattach the gas tank with the three bolts. All right. Now this is the same gasket that you use on the little bulb with the primer. Okie dokie. Should be three holes left and an old gasket. I'm going to take this off of here just for a minute. Okay. Yeah, everything on this intake was just too tight. There we go. All right, we can hook up the PCV valve or just close the crankcase gases back in and burns them. Oops. Good. I'm going to go too tight. And I don't have any parts left except the air filter and the air filter cover and the old gasket, this old gasket which is torn and the cover. Oh, gotta put this on. You guys are going, you're missing the straw. Okay. All right, quick little wipe. Well, it's up in the air. Aye, she looks brand new. So let's do the do the demo. Plugs hooked up. With my experience now, it should go. If it doesn't. I was pushing gas into the carburetor and it was firing every time I pumped it. So let's find out, guys. All right, let's do a review. We've got good gas in the tank. I checked it. It has sparked because when I put the, the screwdriver and opened the choke and squirted gas in, it fired. I took it apart. I never found anything wrong with the uh, carburetor. The carburetor looked clean. When I took it apart put to the choke, the choke lever was on the wrong side of the choke activator. But that might have been when I removed the choke. I doubt it. So let's just check it out.
got a how open that choke is and how it's closed already. I'll make sure of that. Yes, the choke's closed. sharpen this blade it's it's not that bad it's just got a couple of zubas on the end there I might just use a standard grinder on that I think I will for all the time because it's not that bad I'm just going to use a, a good flap wheel on there you don't have to watch that oil's draining we're almost done okay we got a nice edge on there not too sharp Let's put that jack back underneath there and close her up and add some wood. Oh, heavy for one arm. Good. Nice warm oil. Put the bubung in first. Are you guys still watching this? Yes, you are. Well, you might not be watching. Come on. Okay. That bolt should be around here somewhere. Funny how things hide themselves. And I'm still experimenting with that uh, new tool, right? And that's her. The customer put in a new spark plug. Whoops. The customer put in a new spark plug and an air filter. And for you know, for non-technical people, that's a gallant effort, eh? But 
I think somebody tried to take that carburetor off and put those bolts on so tight, not even my new impact or a 3 8 ratchet would hardly take them off. So let's close it up. And I wonder if that wire has settled enough to check it yet. I doubt it. it takes a while. Yeah, maybe. No glasses there, right on the fold. So let's blow the grass off it. A second start because now we're done Okay, are you ready? Air filter, plug check, oil, clean blade, fix the choke, it should fire right up. Thanks for watching this one guys.